Good morning and welcome to the Weekly Insights with John Plassard. The questions of the week. Question 1. What would it take to ensure that the sector rotation we've seen so far this week continues? The rotation that appears to be starting in the equity markets in favor of the value stocks and to the detriment of growth stocks will only be able to continue under several conditions. First, anticipating the arrival of a coronavirus vaccine by Pfizer, Moderna or another laboratory. Second, the confirmation of the victory of Joe Biden and a Republican Senate. Third, unfailing support from central banks, ECB and the Fed to act in December. Fourth, a quick agreement, even at the very least, between Republican and Democrat in the United States. Fifth, continued rising in government bond yield. Sixth, a return of consumer and business confidence. Without these elements, we could see another false start. Question 2. What do you think about the actual market and how high can the S&P 500 go? There are several comments I can make about the current stock market cycle. First of all, the equity market is facing one of the best backdrops for sustained gain in years. Second of all, Joe Biden's victory with a likely Republican Senate is a fantastic market scenario. Third, a potential vaccine before the end of the year is a new positive element that will boost value stocks. Fourth, global central bank's policy remains very supportive with the ECB and the Fed to act normally in December. Sixth, the fifth, sorry, the prospect for another round of fiscal stimulus has improved as well, even if the amount will be lower than expected. Six, corporate earnings and labor market recovery, i.e. October jobs, continue to come in ahead of expectation. Seven, equity positioning remains at below average levels with ample room for mechanical re-leveraging as volatility level subside. So, the S&P 500 could reach 4,000 points in the first quarter of 2021 and try to reach 4,500 4, points by the end of next year. However, on the very short term, we could see some profit taking as the market seems, for now, overbought. Question 3. What do you think about gold? The risk to near-term gold spot prices is still a vaccine, the actual FDA-approved vaccine. But beyond that, my 2020 positive view of gold has not changed. Yes, given split Congress, the US won't see a big fiscal stimulus bill, but there will still be one over the next six months, which is positive for gold and the economic recovery is gradual at best. Overall, fundamentals supporting higher gold prices haven't deteriorated. Low real rates remained, and I think gold will soon be over $2,000 per ounce again. It should be recalled here that since my call for purchases in May 2019, yellow gold has risen by nearly 50%. Thank you very much. Have a great week. Stay safe. Read my morning and keep on winning.